how to convert multiple images to one PDF file on Mac. Let's dive right in. The truth is that you can actually do this without the help of third party apps directly on your Mac. First of all, navigate to the images that you would like to pack into one PDF. In my case here, I would like to get these steampunk dogs here converted into a single PDF. So the way to do that on a Mac is to left click and then drag over all of the images that you would like to include in your PDF so that they are all highlighted in blue. And then you right click, go to open with and then choose preview. This will open up all of these images in Max native preview app. In fact, in the left sidebar here, you will see a thumbnail for each and every image that we added. If you don't see these thumbnails, you can always go to view here in the top menu and make sure the thumbnails here is ticked. You should then definitely see these thumbnails. On top of that, if you would like to add more images, this is also very easy because now that you have these thumbnails here, what you can actually do is you can simply click and drag on a file and then just put it here. And this will add it to your list of images as well. Once you have all the images that you would like to convert to a PDF here in the preview app, what you have to do is to click on file here in the upper left corner of the screen and then go to print. Depending on which Mac OS you are using, this might look a little bit different for you. But what is important here is that you have selected your current printer. Don't worry, we're not actually going to print anything, but yet it can help if you have set the correct printer here. And for the presets, you might also want to change this to default settings. Once that is done, somewhere near the bottom, you should actually have a button saying PDF. Locate that and then click on it. And it's now actually as simple as just saving the file as a PDF. So I'm just going to give it a new name here without PNG in the end, because the file ending we want now is obviously .pdf, as this is supposed to be a PDF document. So we're just going to name this Steampunk Dogs. I'm just going to copy that, and I will put that here for title as well. Actually, let me add something, maybe version 1, because I already did that earlier on. So I'm just going to name it Steampunk Dogs version 1. I'm just going to copy that down here to the title as well. And once you have set your title and have removed this .png here, if there was any, then you're actually good to go and you can save. Please note that it is not necessary that you add .pdf here, because that is going to happen automatically. So we're not going to add any file ending at all, and we will simply click here on save. I have saved it in the downloads folder and here it is, Steampunk Dogs version 1.pdf. Now we're going to double click on it to open it up. And we now have these multiple images inside of a single PDF on our Mac. Great! But wait, why did the orientation change? In fact, that's nothing to worry about, we can adjust that very easily. Here's how we do it. Press and hold shift on your keyboard and then here in the thumbnail view, click on each of the images. Then here on top, go to tools. And then just select either rotate left or rotate right. In my case, I obviously have to choose rotate right here because they are leaning to the left. So I click on that and just like that we solved this issue as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more helpful tutorials.